I really did not want to make this video. Um, not because I don't support the cause or I'm completely against the cause, but mainly I just think that if you don't know who Joseph Coney is or what Invisible Children is at this point in time, uh, you live under a rock. So if you are just emerging from that rock, hello, I'm Jared, and this video is about Invisible Children and Joseph Coney. If you don't know anything about them, link in the down bar to a 30-minute video. Watch it. It's great. I'm not going to tell you about it. But basically, <clears throat> what's coming out is, is Invisible Children a reliable uh, company? Are they saying their real agenda? Are they telling us facts or fiction? Most importantly, is Invisible Children a scam? Um... Some of these arguments are the government's funding it because there's a lot of oil in Uganda and we want that oil. Number two, they say that, you know, Invisible Children doesn't spend their money correctly, um, saying that, you know, maybe the founders are paying themselves too much. Um, you know, staff salaries are extremely high and are they using the money for good? Um, <clears throat> another thing people are saying is Joseph Coney might not be alive. He hasn't been seen or heard from in a very long time. And in the video, they kind of avoid to whether he's still out there. They just say he's, he's gone somewhere else. But they don't know whether or not he's alive or dead. And finally, a lot of people are, are getting angry because this is everyone's chance to be a social activist. And I don't care who you are or whether or not you know anything about anything else. Now's your chance. So let's talk about a few of these things. Um, whether or not you agree or disagree with the motives behind Invisible Children. You cannot argue with the fact that stopping a man who is basically uh, getting kids to commit genocide and kill anyone and everyone just so this man can maintain power. You cannot argue that capturing him, killing him, or putting him in prison, you can't say that that's a bad thing um, <clears throat> because you're helping make the world better and not sucky. <laughs> Um, so that's just kind of that. Also, moving on, even if Joseph Kony is dead, there are still people like him in Africa all over the world. And organizations that try to stop people who are killing and recruiting just to maintain power suck so hard. If you're going to rebel, stand for something. I respect rebellions because rebellion is how, how change happens. Even if the rebellion might not be uh, perfect, even if you might not agree with what that rebellion is. The fact that it is a rebellion stands for change, and I think change moves us forward. You know, sometimes not all these rebellions work, sometimes they're not correct, but change moves us forward. There is no change to what Joseph Coney and all of all people like him are doing. Um, so even if the United States is funding this, I still think that, you know, Invisible Children and organizations like Invisible Children should still be a thing. Yes, it is very beneficial that we might be able to get oil out of this. That, that's just, it's, ben, it's beneficial, but it doesn't stop Invisible Children from being an awesome organization. Um, and finally, the thing I want to talk about most is everyone's a social activist. Simply by spreading the word, that is good, that is dandy, but a lot of people just feel so self-accomplished after they, they post the video everywhere. Like, Yes, you did good, like we're raising awareness, and awareness is a good thing, but there is more you can do. Whether that's donating money, which I know not everyone has money. Um, most of the people that are watching this video are under the age of 17, um, which you guys don't really have that much money. But there are events like on April 20th, 420! Ah, no one caught that, but 420 is the day where you're supposed to go out in the streets and paint the streets with uh, Coney 2012. It's 420, same day, I laughed at that a little bit. Um, no, but you can participate in that event. It costs you nothing but your time. And, and simply by posting the video everywhere, that's great, but, but join the organization. Join organizations like it and be an actual activist, uh, not just this passive activist. And if you don't support it, then don't support it. Find something you do. You can get behind. You can say, oh, I agree with this. I want to support it. And finally... And most importantly, I think, do your own research. Don't take my word for it. Don't take their video for it. Don't take someone else's video talking about their opinions or whatever. Um, whoa, guinea pig's going nuts over there. But do your own research, because it's one thing to hear someone on Tumblr say, oh, this is a bad organization because, you know, 13% of their profits actually go over to Africa. But it's another thing to actually research and see, like, oh, that number's not accurate. That was just someone speaking out of their ass which I do all the time, but I've got one good-looking ass, so it's okay. I don't have one. It's ugly. Okay. Um, so what do you guys thought about... 
uh, anything in this video that I talk about, and let's have a conversation in the down bar because I think that that'll be more beneficial than me just talking out of my oh-so-beautiful hiney. Okay, I love you guys. I might see you tomorrow. I might not. I don't even know. Bye.